day I live. Um, it's very difficult to say. It depends in which direction our dancing go. I hope that we manage to keep a balance between athleticism, artistry, and show. That it will be a mixture of all these components that the dance will become more interesting. I hope we will not get only in one direction because that it becomes a little bit boring. So uh, I try myself as a teacher, as a judge, go and improve this aspect that we have a more variety of dancers, more interesting personalities, and more feeling out there. Yes, because I think jive is still jive, jive is no swing, jive is no rock and roll for example, but of course we have a, a new style, we have more energy inside the body, we have more knowledge also what we can do with our bodies, we can create much more speed than maybe 30 years ago, but still I want the typical technical jive, I want to see this, and this is the same with all the other dancers, so I think it's very important that we have our technique book still, of course it looks different, it will look different also maybe in 10 or 15 years. But the, the technical rules still have to be the same. This is what I think. The music has to be the same in a way. Okay, we have more modern music, more maybe classical music in Latin American, but still I want the, the rhythmical interpretation also in the music, and this is what we have to show as dancers. So this is very important. That you see at the moment that the, the just speed is, is everything will lead you to eventually get into a semi-final or a final. Here back to the characteristics of the special dance of the bride, so yes. Yes, because obviously, I mean, if, like I said in my, uh, in my lecture, if you have couples that dance one minute and 20 seconds of uh, non-Latin American dancing that I have seen from some top couples, uh, without any uh, choreographical content of basic elements in that dance and still are being judged into a final and sometimes even win the competition. That's a very worrying trend. Because rumba is rumba, like slow foxtrot should be slow foxtrot. Is we, okay, there is obviously an evolution. I'm not going to sound like a very old-fashioned fogey that uh, just uh, think that it should be like it was 20 years ago. Um, but we just have to try to protect what each dance should be, the characteristic of each dance. So you believe this will be the trend, uh, not more speed, more speed, more speed, but a little bit back to the characteristic of the dance? And That's for us coaches and, and, and judges to, uh, to protect. At the moment, uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of top coaches are working this way. Uh, do but, the judges know? But <laughs> I, I think our problem at the moment, I'm, I, I might get myself into trouble now, is that the majority of top competitions we do not have highly qualified enough judges with highly um, enough knowledge at a high level mm -hmm. to judge it. That's the, that's the problem. We don't need, in my mind, necessarily one judge from a country that hap happens to be a member of our federation, uh, let's say Zimbabwe, for just for an example, <laughs> if they don't have the knowledge, we don't need. I mean, then I'd rather have two judges from Germany or two from England or whatever. We have to have a little bit more belief in uh, in uh, the um, honesty of the judges, not necessarily that it has to be one from each country. It's more important the quality of the judges. So I learn next year we have to invite more judges to the camp to hear what you uh, trainers have to say. I think <laughs> already uh, with the um, professional division and the people in charge of the professional division um, within the uh, WDSF that this is a plan to also run more training camps for judges to educate judges. Yes, they also have the WDSF uh, Academy Yes, and they will develop this Academy yes. and I think they will they will sh strengthen this uh, trend too. Oh, it's important because if not, then uh, I think uh, a, a lot of uh, young couples spend a lot of money for uh, for nothing. I think what dancing world will will undoubtedly need next is um, a return to some. Uh, I'm reluctant to use a word basic, but I would like to see a develop 
development towards using in an innovation, innovative way, the very fundamental uh, elements of each ten dances because we need to start to preserve the individuality of these ten dances and uh, at the moment I think in the top level of the world dancing we have reached some kind of plateau situation choreographically and I think we need to start putting in elements that are sometimes even less and not always more and I think this will create a much more interesting scene. At the moment it's vivid, vibrant, lots of talent, fantastic dancers all over the place, but I think the fundamental values have to be nurtured more. Dancing seems to develop every year, uh, faster sometimes or more sometimes and less, less other years. It continually improves, but one of the things that really uh, pushes the development is the music and the interpretation of that music, understanding of that music and like my subject was saying there, how you balance within that, how you, uh, the, the form, best form of balance is to be on balance, out of balance and it's those uh, dancers who are striving to go more and more into that and understand what is possible for their, for their bodies. Well, the trend of today is that's a little bit actually of a problem and this you could also hear a little bit in the lecture that, that was actually in the last couple of days. Um, we teachers, we worry quite a lot about what's happening nowadays sometimes on the floor, meaning like not non-recognizable non dances anymore, uh, too much concerned about um, giving an impression on the floor and not really be in connection with what the dance should should portray. Um, also impossible almost to judge some choreography choices and actually to be honest and I think I'm, I'm one of the many teachers that actually think that we should go and look a little bit backwards, not always forwards, not for more fast, not more speed, more you know because then soon we will be in a dynamic suit with a dy dynamic helmet on and this is not what uh, dancing should be in this way. So. If you, if you want to see a cha-cha, we have to see some recognizable technical skills. Otherwise, how would it be possible for us to judge on these points? Because that's what um, our federation is asking. Listen, these are the points. This is what we have to judge on. How can we judge if it's not there? You understand? This is actually the worrying thing. And this is actually through the whole camp. Um, I hear this from my colleagues. We finish with the, with the teaching. We're going back to our hotel, we're having a nice dinner together, and we do discuss this. What is the problem? And we could hear this week, actually many lectures was, were discussed about this problem. So this is it. But I heard you are hopeful of you course. will see more emotional yes. communication in the future. Uh, well, we hope because otherwise if that's disappearing, you know, why do we need to be man, woman on the floor? There's nothing else there anymore. And this is actually the beauty of our dancing. Um, it's not only uh, athletes, it's not only uh, good bodies and a good condition. Uh, emotion makes the dancing complete. And without your emotion, without your involvement and your choices, basically, we don't have a lot. Yeah, yeah.